Hi everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at another brand new deck. Actually, this is a, an exclusive uh, pre, uh, uh, pre order advanced copy that US Games has uh, sent out to me to review. So, thank you and a big shout out to US Games for sending this to me to review. It's called The Mind's Eye Tarot by Olivia Rose. And it's so new that it's not yet available on Amazon, but it is available on um, U.S. Games site, so website. So I will put the links uh, in the description underneath the video um, for those who are interested if you find that you like it. It is in a hard case rectangular two-part box by U.S. Games, of course. Here are the backs. Let your imagination be your guide. The Mind's Eye Tarot by Olivia Rose. The Mind's Eye Tarot invites you to embark on an adventure of the spirit, allowing your imagination to be your trusted guide. Through her lush mixed media artwork using tea and gold ink, Olivia Rose conveys the intuitive creative process that inspired the Mind's Eye Tarot and infused it with positive energy. Yeah, I was reading um, the guidebook a little bit, and she said for each card that she drew, she 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 infused the drawing with positive energy. So, should be a good feeling, a positive deck. The seventy-eight borderless cards encourage us to dive deep into our own emotions to connect with the stories and symbolism of tarot and discover their meanings and messages. Includes 78 gilt edge cards and 172 page illustrated guidebook. And there's a few pictures of the cards here on the back of the box. There is no uh, thumb hole cut out on the side, but as you can see, it is a little angle. So um, it makes it easy to open, no problem. And it's just plain gray inside cover the box that there, there is a ribbon that um that makes it easy to pull out and it's color coordinated with the edging of this it's like a lot a light lilac silver grayish uh, ribbon so here's the guidebook looks pretty thick it's uh heavy nicely weighted and we'll take a um a more in-depth look at the guidebook after we look at the cards and here are the inside this is cardboard but it's glued down so it's not moving around so it does keep your cards in place so pretty sturdy sturdy solid box all right here are the backs black and gold and check out the gold gilding. How gorgeous is that? Perfect. No dent, no scratch, no nicks. I am a happy camper. <laughs> uh, there's a little dust from the cardboard of the box. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, compare it for sizing purpose to give you an idea. It looks like it's standard. Yeah, it's standard plaid back tarot card size. Comparing it to a Hay House angel card is a little shorter and skinnier. So standard card size, card stock, medium, flexible, bendable. Uh, there is, it feels more matte. It's a matte feel, and it it looks like, see, you can see the grid. It looks like it's uh, linen, but I think it's just made to look like linen. I don't think in actuality, I don't think it's linen. It feels more matte. When I run my hand on it, I don't feel, you know, like the, the linen feel but when you look at it see you can see the grid lines so I think it's more matte it may be linen but it doesn't it looks like it's linen but it doesn't feel like linen so I don't know 
All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the cards. As you can see, they are borderless, with the exception of one border at the bottom for the number and the title of the card. So first we have starting out the full and skimming the guidebook. It says the fool is ready to embark on her journey, unaware of the um, darkness that's, you know, looking, looking at her or maybe following her, looking at her minimal items, essentials in her bag. So that's what that eye is. It's, she's being watched uh, without, unaware that she's being watched by the darkness or negativity all right so next is the magician the high priestess the empress the emperor the hierophant the lovers the chariot strength the hermit she looks like she's all almost like a fetus position the wheel of fortune justice the hanged man death temperance the devil the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. So that completes the major arcana. Now moving on to the minor arcana, starting with the suit of wands. We have ace of wands, two of wands, three of wands. Four, five, six. I don't know why my camera does that. Where it's a little fuzzy. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Heavy burden there on her back. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, and King of Wands. Lots of eyes in this stack. See, more eyes. So next suit is of Cups. We have Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Oh, it feels very balanced here, the Two of Cups. Three of Cups, Four of Cups, I'm trying to get my camera to focus, Five of Cups, but when it zoom in, it does that fuzzy thing, Six of Cups, ooh, this is pretty, very pretty Six of Cups, ooh, I like the energy from this deck, beautiful energy, giving energy, Seven of Cups, or from that card, did I say from that deck? I don't know, I like the energy from that card, Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. It's early in the morning, you guys. I'm off work today from my regular day job. I'm on vacation. Usually I don't do it this early in the morning, so uh, I haven't finished drinking my coffee yet, so my mind is not completely awake. All right, so Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, ooh, that's pretty, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Next is a suit of Swords. We have Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Okay, she's resting. So it does follow the Rider Weight system. 
although it's ornate, there's a lot of interest, uh, intricate things sometimes. It makes it a little difficult to see or confusing, but um, pretty much follow the right of weight. And according to the guidebook, she does. She does. Um, that was her first deck, the right of weight smith, when she first learned tarot. So she does try to keep it, um, you know, with the right of weight in accordance with the right of weight system. Seven of Swords, as you can see, is her own take. See, there's that eye again. There's actually two eyes. There's several eyes in this deck. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. Final suit is of Pentacles. We have Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. Another look at the backs. And it is reversible. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but it is reversible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the guidebook. We'll zoom out a little bit. Harder cover. So, U.S. Games 2023. Yeah, 2023. Acknowledgements. Introduction. So there's a little introduction right up by uh, the author, Olivia Rose, and then we go straight into the Major Arcana. You do get a pretty nice size color picture of the card, and then about two paragraphs worth, half a page worth of writing. Here's what I read. The, the fool is excited to embark on an adventure, but is not aware of the lurking danger. I was I couldn't figure out how they how she worded it. I put the darkness or evil where it's lurking danger, keeping a close eye on her. In her bag, she only carries the essential things she needs to move forward. The fool represents the hope you have inside you. Just before the fool card represents the hope you have inside you. Just before embarking on a journey, fearing the unknown can only hold you back and stunt your personal growth, upright meaning, the beginning of an adventure or journey, freedom of spirit, travel, intuitive creativity, reverse meaning, irresponsibility, thoughtlessness, recklessness, walking into danger unaware. All right, so color picture of each card, upright meaning keywords, reverse meaning keywords as well. And then on the back, there's a spread. And then a little write-up about the author. She's a, a UK uh, artist. So United Kingdom with both Scottish and Jamaican heritage. She has always had a passion for the arts and wanted to be an artist since the age of five. Wow. All right. Olivia's work has been displayed in the UK, America, China, and Malaysia. All right. And then two blank pages for notes. Do people actually use these? I never actually really use these. I'm just curious. <laughs> All right. And that is the guidebook. So I did consecrate the stack since I have time this morning since I was off. I smudged it. I cleared it. And uh, today is uh, Thursday, July 12th that I'm recording this. You guys are not going to see this uh, until Saturday because I have already something scheduled um, for today. 
to uh, be uploaded. So in case you're wondering, I said I'm off work <laughs> today. It's actually Thursday morning that I'm recording this, but when you watch this, it's going to be Saturday morning. All right. So I am half asleep, <laughs> not awake yet, but not that asleep. All right. So I usually record the videos a day, two days, sometimes four days a week before. I used to do them and record them in the same day, but I, as I get more and more DAX, um, I started recording them earlier. And I try to do a schedule Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes if I get a lot of DAX, I'll squeeze in a Wednesday like I did yesterday. So, but I'm trying to be consistent and have a schedule. But it's kind of loose, loose, loose schedule Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I try to do the more popular decks on Saturday and Sunday because people are tend to be more home available on the weekends. Okay, so just a, a little update or FYI info on the uh, channel information. Without further ado, let's go ahead and shuffle. So we'll do sideway. Oh, it glides really, really nice. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see. Oh, it's a dream. It's a dream to shuffle. Look how smooth that is. Oh, I guess it, it is sort of linen. It has that. All right. Very nice in, in any case. All right. So that's the overhand shuffle. I'm going to break the deck to make it a little smaller. Wow, you can riffle shuffle with this deck. Yep, you can riffle shuffle with this deck. I just made it the deck a little smaller since they're brand new out of the box. So I'll have to break them in. But let me try it with the full deck. So as you can see, it will riffle shuffle. I'm having difficulty bridging as usual. I'm going to break it out a little bit because there you go. One more time. I'm determined. I'm determined. Ah, <laughs> they are a little slippery too, by the way, a little bit, not too bad where you totally can't control them. Okay, so they will bridge. I just have to break them in. But you get you get the gist of it. I'm not gonna bore you to death trying to riffle shuffle. And then this way. So that's fine. So they shuffle really, really nice. So let's pull a card. Let's oh, what card is this? Ten of Swords. It felt like it when I come out. What is this that's sticking out? The Empress. All right, so let's pull a card. Let's get a card and look it up. Okay, it fell out by itself, so it must be this card. Six of Wands. Okay, that's better. Victory. Recognition. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. All right, so you can see the card. And then you can also see the guidebook. The Six of Wands shows a woman returning victorious and triumphant. This card is all about deserved pride, success, and recognition for your achievements. Wow. Upright meaning success, progress, pride, accolades, victory. Reverse meaning lack of recognition, failure, poor sportsmanship. All right. So this may be your card for today. Recognition, victory, overcoming obstacles. All right, so that completes our quick walkthrough uh, of the newly released The Mind's Eye Tarot. As I get myself organized here. So uh, as I mentioned, as usual, I will put the links uh, in the, the description underneath the uh, video for those interested in reading more about it or interested in picking it up, purchasing it. Um, I hope you enjoy that. And thank you again to U.S. Games for sending this out to me. 
early the advanced copy. Greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you all again on the next video. Bye.